In this short video, we're going to review how to determine the molar mass of an element and a compound. Well, fortunately for the elements, it's really easy to determine the molar mass because we have the periodic table of the elements. And on the periodic table of the elements, for each element, for example, boron right here, the number below the elemental, elemental symbol is the molar mass of that atom. And in the case of boron, it's 10.81, and what that means is that um, one mole of boron equals 10.81 grams of boron. Okay, so the molar mass is that one mole of boron equals 10.81 grams of boron. And typically we write it like this, 10.81 grams of boron per mole in this case of boron. Now, what if I were to ask you, what is the molar mass of an oxygen atom? You would simply look at the periodic table, find the oxygen atom on the periodic table right here, and read the number, and you would say that the molar mass of an oxygen atom equals 16 0.00 grams per mole. All right, now that's typically how it's written in text and problems in, in scientific papers and whatnot, but we want to remember that that is the same as saying that one mole of oxygen equals 16 grams of oxygen, or we'd want to write and keep in your head that that's 16 grams of oxygen atoms per one mole of oxygen atoms. Okay, that's what you're thinking in your head. Now what if I were to ask you what is the molar mass of molecular elemental oxygen? Well in that case you'd have to remember that as an element oxygen exists as a molecule. It's a diatomic molecule and we abbreviate it O2. So if I wanted to figure out the uh, molar mass of that particular molecule, I would have to recognize that in this formula there are two oxygen atoms for every one, there are two moles of oxygen for every one mole of o molecular oxygen, or two moles of oxygen atoms. So I'd have to multiply the molar mass by two. So it would be two times 16.00 and we would say that then the molar mass for molecular oxygen is 32 grams per mole. You have to be careful, are they talking about elemental molecular oxygen or oxygen atoms? Now what if we were asked what is the molar mass of sodium oxide, of sodium oxide, given the formula Na2O for sodium oxide? Well you would look on the periodic table and find in group 1A sodium and in group 6A oxygen. You would recognize that for each formula unit you have two um, sodium and one oxygen. So the molar molecular or the molar mass for this particular compound would be two times the molar mass of the sodium which is 22.99 plus one oxygen 16.00 and then you would do the math there on your calculator and you would recognize, or you would calculate that it's 77.98 70, grams per mole. What about the molar mass for calcium phosphate? In this case, you would look on the periodic table, find the molar mass for calcium, find the molar mass for phosphorus, and find the molar mass for oxygen. You would interpret this formula as, for each one formula unit, you have three atoms of calcium, you have in this case, two phosphates, which would be two phosphorus and eight oxygen. Okay, so how did I know that? Well, if I look at this formula unit, I know that what I really have going on here is a calcium, another calcium, and another calcium, and a phosphate, and a phosphate, all connected together in, um, in a compound. And so I can see there's three calcium, 
there's two phosphorus, but for each of the phosphates, there's four oxygens. So that's how I got my eight. So I just um, say three times 40.08 grams per mole there. And this is going to be um, two times 30.97 grams per mole there. And for the oxygen, it's going to be eight times 16. Okay, if I add up all those numbers on my calculator, I get that the molar mass for this particular compound is 310.18 grams per mole.